Hey guys, it's Special Aussie here and welcome to another AS Monaco series episode. This is the Coupe de France final and as you can see we are taking on Sholks Monteb today and um, we are currently going for, I think it's our third, yeah our third consecutive uh, Coupe de France um, titles so obviously I want to continue the trend and get the hat trick of uh, you know French Cups so let's advance into the uh, lineup today. Um, obviously the next episode will be the in, uh, end of season review because this is the last game of the season um, and that's where I'll go through um, like league form, player, you know, ratings and stuff like that and just give you a general roundup of how we did this year so make sure you tune in for that in the next episode um, but obviously this one is all about the Coupe de France so in goals we're going to play Sommer today probably will be his last game for the club um, he's played well this season, obviously if you watch the previous episode you'll see that he was kind of at fault for our um, Coupe de la Ligue loss, but I'm um, going to put my faith in him again today and hopefully he'll repay that favour and um, hopefully we can keep a clean sheet um, as we have done in the previous two Coupe de France finals. So right back we've got Kleber, Matip and Fore again in the centre of our defence with Hadji at left back. In our central midfield positions today we have Bender and Ulrich. Kanga sitting in front of them as the advanced playmaker, centre attacking mid. And on the wings we've got Munainen on the right, Pereira on the left, and Gomez up front as per usual. Um, on the bench today we have Francois, Vanik, Luzzi, Gonzalez, Fabiano, Granier, which is um, one of my youth prospect right wingers. Um, he's played a couple of league games recently and been quite impressive as you can see by his average rating of 7.53. And as our last player we have Lopez there, the striker. Um, so we'll have a look at Shox Monteb's, you know, formation and lineup today. Probably won't know any of the players there. Um, the only player I know is actually Clement, who has already signed a deal to come to our club next season. He's actually their captain as well at 20 years, ooh, 21 years old now. Um, and so he will come to our club next season, as you can see, joining Monaco at the start of next season. So very good um, left winger. Um, yeah, kind of looking forward to him coming. It lacks a little bit of acceleration, but he's got the pace, the strength, and, you know, the um, basic winger stats. So, looking forward to that. Good composure as well, so hopefully he can get us a few goals. But obviously he's got a lot of competition in Pereira and um, the new Greek guy, yeah, Greek guy we've got coming in, who's an absolute world-class wonder kid player. Um, we've also got Munay in as well, who can obviously play there, but I would like to play him more as a centre attacking mid because I think that's where he flourishes to be honest. Alright, so not a very good um, team talk there but we are underway with the pointless highlight so obviously looking for a win today. Um, I'd like to get it done in normal time because extra time and penalties just absolutely kills me. I think it's you're much more inclined to lose um, against the uh, you know against the game in extra time or penalties, so Kleber's picked up another yellow card, which is you know quite a common trend this season. But that is the end of the first half, or just about, because we have a highlight right before the end of it, and Monteba on the ball. So I guess positive. Oh, we've stolen it though. Gomez now is all alone, plays it out wide. Munain, but it's cleared as far as Kleber though. He plays down the line to Munain. He's got the pace, crosses it. Gomez, ooh, good save. Or good catch, I should say. And their goalkeeper boots it long. Up towards Clement. Kleber's in there first. Ulrich out to Pereira. He's, as I mentioned in the previous episode, has been very good this season. And he's absolutely ripping their plays to shreds out there. Those touches are just amazing. Oh, goal! What happened there? I don't really know, but... Yeah, Fleury own goal, so Shox Monteb's goalkeeper has put the ball into his own net. Similar to um, our goalkeeper, I've forgotten his name. As he, uh, Sommer did, sorry, in the previous game in the uh, uh, Coupe de la Ligue Cup Final. I want to say I'm pleased with how things are going, so... Yeah, bit bit lucky there, I guess, to uh, get that own goal. I don't think we really deserved it all that much because it was only the first highlight of the entire game, so... This could be a quick one, but I think I'll make a sub here because... Again, Gomez is looking really poor out there, so... I 
I think we'll also make another sub, and we'll take Ulrich off, and we'll put Fabiano on. He's been fairly good this season. Um, dropped off a little bit in the league, which is why he's lost his place to Ulrich. So I think we'll leave it like that for now, and we'll see how the next 30 minutes or so go. I'd like to snatch another goal, actually. It would be quite nice to finish the season off on a high. I mean, I don't really want to win the cup final with an own goal, so... It does... Oh, here we go. Fabiano with the free kick. Oh, what a finish, lad! Take a bow! Fabiano, the Brazilian, comes off the bench and scores an absolute peach of a free kick right there. Wow. And I'm actually happy that we got that goal because that does... I was just mentioning it before, but that does put me in a very good mood. Alright, Bender now. So we could have another chance to add, you know, a third goal to the tally. Crossed in. It's cleared, though. And uh, Shox Monteb have their first bit of possession, really, of the game. Um, but we do cut it out. Pereira now. Can he cross it? He's got two men in the box. Two on one. Plays the Lopez. Goal! 3-0. And as I said, we have got our third goal of the game. And Lopez has got his 13th of the season. Coming right at the end in the last, you know, two minutes of the season. So, as you can see, quite a good performance. All players nearly over seven there. And um, I'm much happier than I was after losing the Coupe to League final. And um, we have got a piece of silverware this season. So, you know, I'll go into more detail um, in the end of season review and we'll see if we win any more pieces of silverware. Oh, wow. <laughs> They've got a consolation goal. And Jab Noon has got his 23rd of the season. Not bad. Obviously, that's one of the reasons why they're actually in the Coupe de France final, I guess. But we haven't kept the clean sheet on um, Sommer's last game for the club, basically. So that's a little bit disappointing, but, I mean, in true form, I mean, Sommer's, you know, not a master of clean sheets, is he? So there we go. We've won the game 3-1. Congratulations, boys. We deserve it. And their first shot on target, they score a goal. Props to them, I guess. And, um, yeah, that is basically it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you tune in for the end of season review, which will be the next episode coming out in the next, you know, couple of days or so. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and the Coupe de France final victory, um, the third in a row, as a matter of fact, please give the video a like rating and head over to my channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the end of season review. Goodbye, guys.